Hello and welcome everybody to English Center. Happy to see all of you smiling faces once again. This is Mind KB. Today I'm going to talk on subject verb argument and I believe after watching this video you'll not have any question on this topic. Stay tuned. Well, we already know a singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb. But we already know that things are not that much easy. So that's why we will be talking deeply on this matter. Let's go. Look at the first example. Amir Khan acts well. Anushka Sharma also acts well. So here, Amir Khan is the third person singular number. So we have added S with the verb. That means we have taken a singular verb, singular subject, singular verb. Then Anushka Sharma also acts well here also. Anushka Sharma is the third person singular number. So we have taken a singular verb. That means we have added S with the verb. Then they act well in the movie named Piki. So here, they, here we have plural number. So we have taken a plural verb. So remember, if the subject is third person singular number, then we take a singular verb. And singular verb means we have to add S or yes with the verb. Okay, not always if the subject is third person singular number. And here we have plural, that means they act well in the movie named Piki. So here they is the plural form. So we didn't add any S or yes with the verb. Next one, Brazil has won the World Cup five times. So here Brazil has won. So Brazil as a unit, third person singular number. But sometimes team can be plural. So in next slide, we'll be talking on this one, where to use singular form and where to use plural form. People have turned, so people, plural number, people have turned away their faces from politicians. That means they do not like that much the politicians. It means that actually. So people have turned, plural. Subject plural, so verb will be plural too. Then jute grows well in Maimanshing. So here jute, the subject is third person singular number. So we have added S with the verb. Then tomatoes grow all year long in China. That means tomatoes here plural number. So we are using here plural verb. So here what we find that is if the subject is third person singular number, then we add S or yes with the verb. But if the subject is plural number, then we do not add S or yes with the verb, rather we take a plural verb. So it means singular subject, singular verb, plural subject, plural verb, that's it. Now let's talk about team, percentage and fraction because all of them can be singular and also plural. So let's talk on this. The team is heading for practice this afternoon. So here the team means a unit, one unit. So all of them will go. That is, if oneness indicates, then we will use singular verb. Like the team is heading, that means the team is going, the team is moving for practice and they will go there together. So this afternoon. Then we can say the team are eating with their families tonight. It means they are not actually sitting in a place, rather they have gone to their houses and they are eating with their families. So here team actually divided into pieces, into different groups. It means it will be plural. So the team are eating with their families. Definitely their families do not actually live in a certain place. So that's why it will be plural. So the team are eating with their families tonight. That means plural. So here team is singular, here team is plural. How? How to determine this one? If the word indicates oneness, then it will be singular. If the team, if the word indicates like different, then it will be plural. So here the team means team are eating with their families tonight. It means they are not sitting in a particular place. Rather, they have actually gone their houses and they are taking their food with their families. So it becomes scattered something. Then nearly one in four people worldwide is Muslim. So here, look at this one. So in four people, one, so it indicates one. So that's why here we have used 
singular verb. So singular subject, singular verb. But if we say this way, nearly 25% of people in the world are Muslim. At the time, it will be plural. So it will be R. Why? Because we are saying 25% of people. Okay. So here the head word is one, but percentage, it will depend uh, actually for the later word. That is, uh, can you actually count or not? So that it will be it will be dependent on that. So nearly 25% of people of the world. So you can count the people, 20%, 25% people. So it will be plural. So that's why we are using here R. Then 12% of the building has been renovated. So here 12% of the building. Building is one unit actually and 12% so you you are not actually separated. Uh, you are not actually talking about different buildings. Rather you are talking on certain portion of the building. So 12% of the building that means this building indicates one building not actually different or not actually many buildings. So it indicates one building and you are talking about 20 uh, sorry 12 percent of the building that means it is singular so that's why it will be it has been renovated renovated means actually you know like repaired okay then two-thirds of the altar has been finished so here altar like uncountable noun or you can say material noun so here two thirds of the altar so if you think that in a certain place there there is some altar and two thirds of the altar so you cannot actually uh, separate it two thirds okay so two thirds of the altar has been finished so it will be singular because this is not actually countable noun this is uncountable noun or oh, you specifically you can say this is material noun so material noun or uncountable noun you cannot actually count it so this way it will be singular but if you say two-thirds of the students are still playing in the field so it will be r why it will be plural because you can count the students for example there there were 30 students so two-thirds of the students means there were 20 students so 20 students you can count one two three four this way you can count 20 students so two-thirds of the students are still playing in the field so it will be plural so team percentage and fraction can be singular can be plural too it will depend on the context that is after this what word you are getting you are getting something which is countable then it will be plural if it is not actually countable and if it is if it is indicating or if it indicates oneness one thing for example here we got an example a building so building one unit you are talking about a single building so it will be counted as singular now let's take a test that how much we understood the team is or are headed to the nationals since winning the state finals that means after getting the state finals means in our country if we talk about then we will say from the jilla or from the division the team has actually won some matches and now they are going to face the like national teams okay so what will be will it be singular or will it be plural so now you see team if they were separated they could not win actually teamwork so after doing this they have actually played as a whole, as a one. So that's why they have actually won the match. If there was chaos, there was separation, then definitely they would not win. So definitely this team is considered a singular. So it will be is. So the team is headed to the nationals. Nationals means like national level, they will, um, they will play actually. So since the winning of the state final, state final means from the, we can say in our country, in the context of Bangladesh, we can say like from division. So divisional part, they have won. And now they are going to play uh, like national level. So I'm saying also they, it is possible also to say they, but not in this case. So it will be is because here team means one, oneness. Next one. The mock trial team was or were 
happy with its or their presentations to the judge. Look at this. The mock trial team was or were happy with its or their presentation to that as they are happy. Definitely there was one unit. So if you want to win something, you have to be united separately. You cannot do or separately. You cannot win something if you work in a team. So definitely it will be was. The mock trial team was happy with its. Look at the pronoun. It will be also it's not there. It will be it's presentations to the judge. So as they are happy, so it means that they work together. Then nearly 25% of the population of the world is or are Muslim. Okay, now look at this population, not people. Although population, you can use it as a singular form, as a plural form too. So usually we say singular form. Usually if we have people, then we say are. Usually if we have population, then we say is. But here we can use are too. But commonly we say is. So nearly 25% of the population of the world is Muslim. Most of the cases we use this way. But if you say nearly 25% of the population of the world are Muslim, that is also correct one. Okay, don't be uh, misguided, don't be misled. Both of them are absolutely fine, but popularly, commonly, we say is with population. But with people, we say plural form. Then our staff meets or met on Tuesday morning to discuss customer complaints. Okay, so customers may have lots of complaints, but when our team goes to solve it, then definitely they become united and say, like uh, an our university has organized a program. So lots of speaker will come, but the university will represent themselves in a whole, okay, so it will be singular. So our staff meets, so it will be singular, our staff meets because they will be united, they will be in a group and they will represent themselves that way. So our team meets on Tuesday mornings to discuss customer complaints. So in a group, they will go there. Look at the next example. Our staff works or work hard to meet their goals and deadlines. So here, our staff, it means this is the team definitely. And for example, we have thousands machine, 1000 machines, and we have 1000 workers. So totally, this is a team. But when they will try to fulfill their goal and uh, in like on time they want to give their work then they will work separately okay so here in one machine one person will work another machine another person will work this way everybody will work so although this is a team but they are working separately scattered way so it will be plural so here what we got that is team percentage or fractions here if it works unitedly, if it indicates oneness, it will be a singular form. And if it indicates like scatteredly, separately, if they work, then it will be plural. Now let's talk about one of the or similar kind of expressions. Maximum students commit mistake here. Okay, look at the examples and I'm saying where they commit mistake. At last, one of the students here, it will be plural from one of the students, one of the colleges, one of the places, one of the tours, one of the journeys. So it will be plural form. But maximum time students do not use this plural form. They use the singular form. So this is a common mistake you have to use here, plural. Okay. At least one of the students then gets or get full marks every time. Okay. So what will be the answer? You may be uh, mistaken if you consider this one as the head word. Actually, here the head word is one. So according to one, it will be the verb gets. 
because this is third person singular number so we have to add s with the verb so the answer will be gets next one the pile of bones here we do not have one or one of the but similar kind of expressions here the pile of bones although this is plural okay but here the head word is pile okay the pile of bones on the plate shows or show how much chicken the family has eaten so it will be shows because the head word is here pile not of bones because after the preposition whatever we will have that will not definitely not be the head word so head word will be before what we have so here we have one here we have pile so pile as this one is singular so it will take a singular verb it will be shows so the pile of bones on the plate shows how much chicken the family has eaten next one a selection of nazrul's poems so look at this selection not poems the head word is selection so it will be has been not have been has been published to the joy of the reader okay so here this a selection selection singular so it will be has been now one of my friends look at this one of my friends friends it will be definitely plural okay one of my friends is or are a lawyer it will be is because here the head word is one so one not friend because this is a preposition after the preposition we will never ever had the head okay so the head will be before preposition so one one is that means one of my friends is a lawyer now similar kind of expressions actually of phrase okay uh the list of items is or are on the desk so here the list list singular so it will be is although we have here items but look at this of here preposition after the preposition we will not have the head word that this is totally the subject the list of items but the list list this word will be the head so according to this one will be the verb so list and then it will be is then a bouquet of yellow roses lend or lends color and fragrance to the room so bouquet look at this of yellow roses here plural form but it will be singular why singular here we have of preposition after the preposition we will never have the head so head word will be before that so here we have bouquet so bouquet is the singular form bouquet means bunch of flowers actually so bouquet lens it will be lens bouquet lens color and fragrance to the room next one the analysis of the results look at this results plural form but never be misguided with this plural form results actually analysis this one is a singular form according to this we have to use the verb so it will be reveals the analysis of the result reveals not reveal okay don't be misguided with this results actually this is a preposition of so after preposition we do not have the head word head word will come before the preposition so analysis is the head word here so analysis reveals a significant difference between the groups so it will be reveals this one now a lot of a majority some or all it can be either singular it can be a plural too so look at the example a lot of the pie has or have disappeared so singular form here pie so it will be has but if i say a lot of the pies then it will be plural have disappeared a third of the city is or are unemployed so it will be singular because here a third of the city so it is singular but if i say a third of the people plural then it will be plural too a third of the people at the time you can count but here city you cannot count in a city it indicates in a city it means the city means in a city one city it indicates not actually more than one so this why you cannot actually count one city two cities three cities here we are talking about just only one city because here the determiner is the here it means only one city 
So a third of the people, people you can count, one person, two people, three people, this way. So a third of the people are unemployed. Then all of the pie is gone. It means like this is the pie. So all of the pie is gone. Or if you say all of the pies, that means think here, uh, there are more than one pies, like one pie, two pies, three pies, this way. And then we can say all of the pies, pies means more than one pie, then are gone, it will be plural. So it depends on the, on the noun actually, which one you are using. So if you use singular one, then the verb will be singular. If you use the plural one, then the verb will be plural too. So some of the pi is or are missing. So as this is singular one pi, so it will be is, then some of the pi's is or are missing, then definitely it will be are, because here we are using the plural form. It means a lot of, a majority, some, all, which one will you use? Like, will you use singular one or will you use a plural verb? It will depend on the next word. So it will, be, it will be dependent on the noun, which one you are using. If you use singular one, then definitely it will take a singular verb. And if you use plural one, subject, plural word, then it will take a plural verb, that's it. Now, and, and after with, with like adding with and, it can be singular, it can be plural too, how? Look at this, the headmaster and the secretary of the school was or were present in the meeting. So it will be was. How come? Look at this, here we have only one article, the headmaster and the secretary, it means it indicates one person actually. The person who is the headmaster, he is the secretary, same person. If they were separated, different persons, then we would have two article. So if we have only one, one article, then it will indicate one person. If we have two articles, then it will indicate two person. Very simple. One article, one the, one person. Two article, two the, it will be two persons. For example, next example, the headmaster and the secretary of the school were present in the meeting. This time we have two articles, one is here, the secretary, and here we have the headmaster. So the headmaster and the secretary, so it will be war. Now Jamal and Shamim, sorry, Jamil and Shamim, Oaks or Oak to college. So it will be Oak to college, because here Jamil and Shamim, singular and singular, it becomes plural. Look at this example, hard work and persistence is or are required in all rewarding accomplishments. That means if you want to accomplish something, if you do something successfully, then here you two, you need two things. One is hard work, another one is persistence means continuation. You have to consistently, you have to work on that. So you need two things at a time slow and steady, same meaning, same kind of meaning it gives. Like if you just work hard and if you work at like in a week, you work hard like one or two days, uh, then it will not work. You have to work hard and you have to be consistent on your work. So it will be singular because if we separate these two things, we do not get the meaning, do not get the result. So it will be singular. So hard work and persistence is required in all rewarding accomplishments. Something like slow and steady wins the race. Okay, you know this, and this is something like this, so, this, so it will be singular, is required. Now, I've already said slow and steady wins the race, not win the race because just if you are slow, and if you are not actually continuous, consistent, then you will not be successful. And if you're just steady, if, if, if you're, okay, uh, it doesn't go actually, if you say that if you are consistent, if you are quick, that definitely that is better. But uh, this is a proverb, slow and steady. It means oneness. It could be you are slow, but if you are persistent, if you are like consistent, then definitely you will win 
the race. So that's why it is singular. It gives oneness, one meaning. Slow and steady wins the race, not win. Wins. It will be uh, counted as singular. Okay. So look at the next example. Bread and butter is or are my favorite breakfast. So here, bread and butter means one unit. Oneness. Okay. We do not have bread separately and then butter separately. Not like that. We take bread and butter together and this is a kind of food. So bread and butter is my favorite food. So it will be singular. Then horse and carriage is or are ready. So horse and carriage, they actually uh, together mean one kind of vehicle. So horse and carriage, it will be singular. Horse and carriage is ready. Then time and tide waits for none or wait for none. It will be plural because time and tide actually they do not have any relation together but both of them have one kind of characteristics that they do not wait for anybody else so that's why time and tide wait for none wait not actually waits it will be wait for none time and tide wait for none because they are considered plural like they do not mingle together at a time rather they are separated but both of them have one common characteristic that is they do not wait for anybody so time and tide wait for none then two and two makes for or make for it will be makes for because mathematical calculations uh, will be always singular so two and two makes for then silver and gold have I none or has I none? Actually, this sentence we can say or we can interpret this way that I have no silver and gold this way. But uh, objectively, we can focus on silver and gold. Then we can say silver and gold have I none. So no question with has. It will be have. So silver and gold have I none. Now each every or each of then plural noun could be or pronoun could be no problem but the verb will be singular for example each boy and each girl has a pen you may say here we have and singular and here also singular it becomes plural no if we have each every or each of then it will be considered as singular like each boy and each girl has a pen like each of them, look at this, them, plural, pronoun, but it doesn't matter, it will be pays, taka, 1000. Then each of the cars, plural form, but it doesn't matter. Here we have each. Another way, as we know that one of the, that means of phrase, if we have of, that is preposition, and after the preposition, we do not have the head word. Before the preposition, we have the head word. So here, the head word is each, so it will take a singular verb. So it will be each of the cars, though, although this one is a plural form, but it will take a singular verb. So each of the cars has its insurance proof in the glove compartment. Glove compartment means in a car, uh, you will find something like a drawer and you can actually uh, get your uh, paper from there. Look at this example, every employee, supervisor, and executive, many other things, but as we have here every, so it will be singular, like reveals the, op the operation of a model company. So reveals, it will be singular, because here we have every. Then each of the samples, although this one is the plural, I have told you before that here we have a preposition, and after the preposition, we will never have the subject. Um, that means head word. So head word is here each. So it will be it will take a singular verb. So each of the samples it will be was treated with the same dose of antibiotics. You can say this way that all the samples were treated. So all of the samples all here plural all all of the samples were treated with the same dose of antibiotics but all is not always plural some of the examples we have seen with pi so here we have actually seen all sometimes singular sometimes plural it depends 
it depends on the next word which one you we are using if it is singular then it all will be singular if it is plural then all will be plural uh, except one like we have a proverb that uh, all that glitches is not gold that is a different case that that is a proverb actually so all of the samples plural forms so this is what we are using here were treated with the same dose of antibiotics now some of the words we have to remember that if we have this one then the previous word will be counted the first word will be counted as the head like here with with together with as well as along with in addition to including then no less than etc like the father with his three sons although here we have three sons plural but the head word is father because here we have with so father according to father it will be has the father with his three sons it's supposed to be have but not because here the head word is father that is actually singular so it will be has left the place then tania as well as her french although french is plural but it will take a singular because singular verb because here tania is the head word so tania as well as her french is participating in the party and then the politician along with the newsmen m e n men plural form it doesn't matter anything okay here we have along with so the politician is the head word so politician singular so it will be is expected shortly then excitement as well as nervousness is or are the cause of her shaking so excitement this one is the head word not actually nervousness although you can ask another question that is as well as means and it doesn't matter anything if you have and then like for example here excitement and nervousness then you would use here are but now here we have excitement as well as nervousness so you will use is the cause of her shaking the new computer classroom with its many workstation and its sophisticated technology fills or fill long subject by the head word is classroom because here we have with so after this preposition we will never ever have the head word so here the new computer classroom so here the head word is classroom so it will take a singular verb so it will be fills a long felt need it means you have to memorize these words if you have these words then the first subject that means first noun will be considered as the head for example here we have father then here tania politician excitement and classroom so these are the head words according to this we have to put the verb if we have or nor and but then we will choose the closure one as the head okay here he or his fringe so here we have verb we will take the closure one that means we will consider the friend this is opposite to the previous one okay previously we have taken the first one and this time we will take which one is closer to the verb so here we have his french french are the closer one so we will take this one so he or his french so it will be the head and we will use have have gone there neither he nor his brothers his brothers plural form so it will be were present then either you or i am okay or are which one so it will take this one am so it will be here we have i so it will be am wrong then either of them so look at this once again here we have plural from them but here we have preposition so after the preposition we do not have the head so we have to go to the before that is either okay either is singular so we will it will be has either of them has done this it means it will be has neither of them was or were present so here although we have plural form here but here we have a preposition of 
So after this proposition, we will never have the head. So that's why neither will be considered as the head. So neither means no one actually, neither of them was or were present, it will be was. Then not alum, but Ahmed is or are responsible for this, it will be Ahmed. It is said that not alum, not alum, alum is not, alum didn't do it, rather Ahmed did it, okay, or Ahmed was responsible for this or is responsible for this. So Ahmed, so Ahmed is responsible for this, so it will be singular one. So here what we get that is or, no, but, and which one is closure to the verb? That will be actually the head. And according to that, we have to use the verb. If it is singular, then we will use singular. If it is plural, then we will use plural verb. Now, anybody, everybody, somebody, nobody, anyone, everyone, someone, no one, none. Everything, something, nothing, okay. Although they take the plural like pronoun, they, okay, still uh, we have to use singular verb like nobody believes a liar, not believe, it will be believes a liar. Everybody loves an honest man, not love an honest man, it will be loves an honest man. Then something is or are better than nothing. So it will be is, something is better than nothing. Then everyone have or has stolen my pen. It will be has stolen my pen. Everything has been or have been done to help him. So it will be has been because here it will be considered as singular one. Now distance, money and time, all of them are considered as a singular one. For example, 10 miles, 10 miles one way, okay, one way. This is not actually separated like one mile here, then three miles, then five miles, not that way actually. This is one road. So 10 miles each or are a long distance, it will be is. Then three miles is or are too far to walk, so it will be is because it, it means only one road. So three miles is. Five years is, uh, is a time actually. Uh, it has beginning and end, five, five years. So five years is or are the maximum sentence for that offense, so it will be is. Five years is. Then $10 is a high price to pay, but it could be plural this way, $10 were scattered on the floor, like here $1, here $5, here $2, here $3, this way, separately scattered. So that will be actually plural. But if we indicate $10, like I have bought it by $10, here $10, is a singular unit, so it will be singular. There are some other words, they seem singular, but actually, they are plural. For example, cattle, aristocracy, poultry, people, gentry. So they, we do not have any S here with these words, but they indicate plural form. For example, cattle are grazing in the field, people are praying for prosperity. So cattle, though we do not have any S here, people, we do not have any S here, but they are actually plural. And there are some other words, they seem plural, but actually they are singular. For example, news, economics, ethics, physics, mathematics, gallus. But these are the words here, we have mumps, mumps are kind of virus, then majors, that is also infectious type of virus like corona, and then shambles, shambles means like cows in the country, then whereabouts means like address. So all of these words can be used as singular, singular form and also as in plural form. So you can use it as singular, no problem at all. You can use it in plural form too. But these are the words like news, economics, ethics, physics, mathematics, gallows, they are always singular. Okay, 
good news is expected so news although it seems like it's plural but not then physics is my favorite subject so here physics is so singular there are the, some of the words they look like or they seem like plural and they are really plural for example gymnastics tactics tactics means strategies then trousers sieges athletics tidings tidings means a group of magpie kind of group of birds then riches you know wealth then this is very interesting singular form or plural form same so his tactics are sneaky then the sieges are on the table the trousers are hanging in the closet all of them look like plural and also they are really plural now if we indicate state means country then book magazine cinema newspaper drama etc then all of them will be singular for example the arabian nights it's the name of a book is still a great favorite that means it's the name of a book so it will be singular gulliver's travels by jonathan swift is a famous satire so here gulliver's travels is the name of a book so gulliver's traveled more countries so that's why more than one country more than one travel he made so that's why gulliver's travels by jonathan swift is because this is the name of a book the united states of america states although plural here in america they have lots of states so it will be singular united states america is the name of a country then gets her new president joe biden so here gets if we have pair dozen hundred thousand then it will indicate singular thing for example a pair of shoes was brought to him Another way we can justify this one here, we have preposition. After the preposition, we do not have the head word. So we will not consider shoes as the head word. Rather, we will consider this one, pair. So pair is a singular one. So the, a pair of shoes was brought to him. That means pair, according to this one, we will put the verb. Then a dozen of pens. Pens is not the main thing here we we have here prepositions so after the preposition we do not have the head word so a dozen a dozen was distributed okay a dozen of pens was distributed it will be singular then uncountable noun will be always singular for example information knowledge advice evidence research news progress work money traffic equipment furniture luggage etc so they will be considered as singular one. For example, a lot of money was spent. So money, okay. Uh, but if you say dollars, then it could be plural too, sometimes. Then a huge quantities of sugar, a huge quantities of sugar was extorted. That is, somebody forcefully actually has taken. So it will be singular because huge quantity of sugar sugar is a singular form so it will be singular too so after here and there it could be singular it could be plural too for example there are a book and a pen on the table so two things but if it indicates one then it will be is for example there is a mosque in our area so a mosque singular there is in many cities a desire to reduce traffic and population so look at this don't be misguided with the cities because here we have a preposition we could write this way there is a desire so here the head word is desire to reduce traffic and population in many cities that way also we could write so it will be there is in many cities a desire so there is a desire so desire is the head word so there uh, the verb goes according to this one to this word desire then there are a stapler two pens for books and a writing tablet on the desktop notice we say tab the full form is tablet we can say so many things we have so more than one thing so it will be plural there are then let's talk about relative pronouns after using relative pronouns we have to look for the antecedent antecedent means the reference according to which we are actually putting the verb so you are the man who 
So who means man? Man is singular, so it will be has always troubled me. So you are the person who always, who has always fallen me in trouble. Okay. Then a reward has been announced for the employees who have worked hard. So who have worked hard? That means we are indicating these employees. So not the award, not the announcement. So employees who have, it will be plural form. Then it is I who am to blame. So it is I who am I. So that's why I am. Then the women, plural form, look at this. Women who went to the meeting war board. So we could say the women war board. So which woman who actually went or who actually attended the meeting? So women, plural form, the way war. Now the assignment which they submitted to their professor. So we are talking about the assignment was incomplete. The assignment was incomplete. Which one? Which they submitted already to their professor. That was actually incorrect. So we are not, not actually talking about uh, they, not actually talking about the person, Rather, we are talking about that. The assignment was not incomplete. Which assignment? Which one actually they submitted to their professor? Now, many a man will take a singular verb, but many men, M-E-N, men directly, if we use this way, then it will take plural verb. For example, many a man has tried to complete the work. So here, many a man has tried. But if we say this way, many men, M-E-N, plural form, have completed the work. So if we say this way, many a man, it will take a singular verb. If we say many men, M-E-N, men, plural form, then it will take plural verb. For example, here we have many men have completed the work. So here we have very confusing two terms, that is the number and a number. So the number indicates single quantity and a number indicates indefinite quantifiers. Okay. So the number will be singular and a number will be plural. For example, the number of the students, although we have plural number here, registered in the class is 20. So the number, the number means fixed number, singular. The number of the people, although this is plural, but it will take the singular verb. The number of the people was very high. And here, a number of the students although it, it, it looks very uh, similar, but it will be plural. A number of the students were late. Then there are a large number of boys playing in the field. So a large number, a number. So it will be considered as plural form. And the number, it will be as singular. Now, if we add the before an adjective, it will be plural. For example, the rich get richer, the poor face many hardships. So here, rich, if we use the before an adjective, it becomes plural common noun. So that's why we use plural verb, the rich, the poor, this way the active, this way we can say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I believe this video will be helpful to understand subject verb agreement. Still, you may have some questions, please leave it in the comment below. I'll try to answer your question. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel English Center, please do it now for newer videos. And also your little contribution will encourage us to work more. Thank you so much. Last but not the least, love your country and do something for the humanity. Bye-bye.